the incredible tough runs. Incredible if he runs. does that, that's all Giants fans would want, right? Incredible runs. And I know this is not a popular opinion. Eli was always a very good quarterback who had two great runs, and that's it. And that's not Canton material. So you you actually believe that Eli Manning is not a Hall of Famer? <laughs> Absolutely. And you don't think that those two runs are enough to make you a Hall of Famer? Oh, they me, may. It, it, but you don't think they depends. should? It, I don't think it should. Absolutely not. Because you get into that room and you've got these writers and you've got these guys who've got agendas and all that kind of stuff, the guys they want to support and, and fight for. Uh, you know, it's different with guys who have gotten in and who I don't think should have been in. Well... There aren't too many of those, but guys who haven't gotten in, I think, should have been in. I don't. I think this is a guy that, if we're really being honest about it, played great in the playoffs those years. Don't get me wrong. Phenomenal. Played phenomenally Beat, beat well. the most unstoppable team of all time. Yes. Twice. With a prayer, and he shouldn't have been the MVP of that game. Justin Tuck should have been the MVP of that game. So, he, he was, the, the Manningham pass is much, much better. I mean, that's an all-time great throw. Yeah. And an all-time great catch. Okay? The Tyree play, let's just call it what it is. Dumb it was fortunate. Saying, okay. It was fortunate. He was a little bit of serendipity on his side, so to speak. When you hear this, you don't hear Hall of Famer. Where's your Snapchat, Don? Well, that's a Hall of Famer retort. I don't know how much you listen to sports radio, if at all. Only you. Only to you, Don. That's a Hall of Famer when I... When I when well, I, hear the I mean, voice. I didn't say he didn't have good taste. A fantastic taste. Yeah. I just believe, for me, I hear what you're saying. When I picture Eli Manning, again, we go back to the eye test. The eye test tells you... The eye is in interception? No. Is no. in how many he's thrown? No, no, no. That's not what I meant. there's a lot of them. That was very cute, but that's not what I meant. Uh, it's like, that's like, that's you know, like the Adam Gase response no, no. right there. The, that's what that was. It's very... Uh, it's very see cute. what you did there. It's yeah, very, cute. very funny. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah. No, the eye test, the eye test is... When you take the eye test, you go, oh, Aaron Rodgers is the greatest quarterback I've ever seen. When you take the eye test, you say, Eli Manning is an average quarterback. And, and, and I, m my vision told me that. But when I go back and look at 2007 and 2011, you can't forget that those things happen. No, I'm not forgetting it's that they happen. Too, it's so impressive. Yes, they were two great runs in what was otherwise an excitingly average career. I mean, he, he threw up a huge numbers because of the style of game now. And, and I was there. I was doing their pre- and post-game. I was following them very intently in 2007. And then, you know, more like from this vantage point in 2011. I don't think there's any doubt that there was nobody more surprised that Eli got on that run that he did in both of those years than maybe even Eli. Because they, they were great they were absolutely great. That's not that's not his career. That's not how he has played his entire career. He has not had. Well, I mean, what? Ten. Uh, one of the runs. The first one he threw what? Probably ten touchdowns and one pick in four games, in in the uh, run to the first one. That's a great run. That's a great run. That's not who he's been his entire career. But, but that's that to me, that starts to become a tough argument because there are a lot of players and athletes who are defined by these amazing moments that they have, even if throughout the entirety of their career, they're flawed. I mean, Roberto Duran's a flawed fighter, but in his moments that we all... It, it, when he got together with Sugar Ray Leonard, there, there are things you saw that you go, this is an all-time great. And other moments when you go, no. I, I think it's unfair. You can't punish Eli for the fact that what, where his greatness stood out the most was when it counted the most in two unbelievable playoff runs. You go to the league, you, you, you play 15 years on a team, what's your goal? Getting a couple Super Bowls is it. That's as good as it gets. We just looked at it. Rodgers has won. Brees has won. Manning, Peyton he squeaked out a second one, and Tom Brady doesn't even count. Look, all I can tell you is that he had two great runs, but for the rest of his career, and playoff career for that matter, I'm not taking away the two Super Bowls, but I'm also not letting them control the entire narrative of his career. Because I don't think that's right. I think when you take away when, when you take away those two Super Bowls, 
you would look at Eli Manning as just a guy. Yep. And I'm not gonna, so I'm not going to take those away from him. I think he is a very good quarterback who had two great runs, never was a top-five quarterback in the game.